All right, uh, what's up, folks? So, um, here's a video I've been meaning to do for I don't know about two months now. Uh, I was clearing out the closet and had a lot of excess shirts I had in a box. Wife started nagging at me. I need to take the box somewhere else, um, and it's just basically set in the living room now for for about two months. So, um, I guess uh. We'll get into it. This is going to be a video for my uh, Huntington's collection. Uh, I guess first and foremost, um, I'll go with the CDs because um, the CDs are what I got into first. So uh, here we have a very rare pressing for big hits and nasty cuts, which is basically a collection of rough recordings and demos and whatnot that they use to shop around to um get signed it's pretty much uh 26 tracks and they're all songs from sweet 16 and in various different iterations um some of these tracks even has cliff singing on vocals so that's kind of funny um but yeah they uh there was originally only a few copies of this. They repressed it for um, Cornerstone 2001. And the thing was, if you spent $50 at the merch table, then you got... Um, no. No, that was something else. Uh, it, was, it was just $10, but they only had 50 copies. That's what it was. But anyway, uh, moving on. So we have uh, Sweet 16 their first um real release uh apparently mike used a electric guitar as his bass on that album um then uh we got uh, rocket to ramonia which is pretty much their first um ramones cover album uh all ramones tracks um they uh they were going to put it on Flying Tart Records, but Flying Tart didn't like the idea of um, putting out so much copyrighted music, and so Flying Tart passed on the idea, so they put it out on Burnt Toast Vinyl under their own imprint, Lying Fart Records. <laughs> uh, then we got the uh, the Only One EP. Um, this has probably one of my favorite songs by them, Dock and Roll. It's a great song. Well, for the earlier songs. I mean, it's after high school rock, it kind of didn't compare. Uh, then we got um, Fun and Games. Oops, someone's upside down. <laughs> then we got Fun and Games. Um, let's see. Then we got their um, inaugural Tooth and Nail debut. Um, high school rock. Most people say that's their best release. I disagree. Uh, then we got um, All the Stuff and More, Volume 1, which uh, at the point they released this, um, allegedly, I think, Sweet 16 was out of print. And so they released this to keep the songs going, but they also added, um, apparently they, were, they went into the studio to record uh, another covers album of just various covers. Ramones, Twisted Sister, Motley Crue, The Queers, um, Poison, etc. But uh, for whatever reason, that album wasn't released either. Those songs never saw the light of day until they released this album, which is basically Sweet 16 um, and then some B-sides. Okay, so we got... Um, the Good, The Bad, The Ugly live. Cliff says it's uh, Tooth and Nail's first live release, but technically Unashamed Silence was Tooth and Nail's first live release. It just wasn't billed as such. But uh, that was the first Tooth and Nail build live album. And they sold a kajillion copies because this is only $8.99 at the store. Uh, moving on, then we got them File Under Ramones, uh, which sonically, production-wise, this is probably my favorite album of theirs. 
Um, it just has a really good tone. Um, I wish that that same sound and tone and everything would have exactly carried over to get lost in plastic surgery. Cause to me, it's just a really good sound. It's pure. It's, it's great, but, um, it didn't, but whatever, but that's uh, probably my favorite, uh, album as far as the sound goes and all that. Uh, then we got, um, get lost, uh, which was, um, this is probably my favorite album overall. And I like the fact that they, um, mimicked Ramones too tough to die. That's a nice touch. Uh, moving on is the yeah, counterpart to that, um, Plastic Surgery. Uh, both Plastic Surgery and Get Lost were recorded in the same sessions. They were just mixed and mastered at different times and released at different times. Uh, Get Lost came out in August or July, whereas Plastic Surgery came out in January or February. I can't remember. I saw them February 4th and they had it there, so I don't know if it was just early release or if it came out in January. Uh, moving on, then we got um, Darlington. Uh, Huntington Split on Melted Records. This has some great songs, um, mostly just throwaway tracks from the Plastic Surgery and Get Lost Sessions, like um, Go to Haddonfield, um, It's Always Christmas at My House, um, things like that. Probably some of my favorite songs are on this release. Too Late's a great song. When I Get Over You is a great song. I Don't Like It's a fantastic song. Blue Sniff Death Shocker is a great song. Haddonfield's a great song. It's Always Christmas at My House is a great song. Um, Judy Jetson's a cover, so, yeah, whatever. Um, he Better Stay Away From My Girl is, yeah, it's, it's all right, but um, not really one of my favorites. Uh, then we got um, Huntington's Alive in New York City, March 9, 2000. Lots of cherry fruit pies and we don't care. Yeah, some of that. Um, we got, uh, We Don't Care Foundation CD number one, which, uh, this is the very first time you got to hear, um, Not Like You. I think Bombs on Baghdad's on here. I think. Um, Not Like You was supposed to be on, uh, Plastic Surgery, but it wasn't. And Bombs on Baghdad was supposed to be on Get Lost, but it wasn't. Two fantastic songs. Not Like You is probably one of my favorite songs I've ever written. Just a fantastic song. Uh, we got the Huntington Summer Sampler 2000 on back, uh, pictures by, um, Kate, um, yeah, she got married, uh, she was a friend of mine, um, I can't remember what her maiden name is, dang, I'm drawing a blank, but anyway, uh, Kate, yeah, she, uh, took the pictures there on the back, um, there were really some great pictures when they played at the Fayetteville at the Clunk, um, now defunct, I, I don't think they still do shows there anymore, I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, Kate was a great friend of mine. Uh, we'd hang out at shows and whatnot. Um, she's now living in Iowa or Nebraska or I think it's Iowa. Um, married some guy. But a uh, great person and uh, good times. And then here we got um, Huntington's uh, Rock and Roll Habits for the New Wave. The, um, I guess, the peach case. And then the, um, the black case variation. And then another Peach Case variation. Uh, basically, all this is is a re-recording of their favorite songs from um, Sweet 16 and Fun and Games. Because by that point, they were pretty embarrassed with the way they sounded. <laughs> okay, so this is um, Huntington's Talking Songs in the Key of You. It was basically three songs, Enchantment Under Sea, Sorry About Your Window, and The Last Time You Left from the album. And then three interviews that uh, Cliff did with Mike. This was the CD where if you bought $50 worth of merch at Cornerstone 2001, um, you got this CD for free. Uh, then moving on, then we got the Songs in the Key of You, uh, which is a fantastic uh, record, fantastic songs. Uh, for that record, um, they had uh, gotten a, a friend of theirs to fill in on vocals and bass on tour while uh, Mike stayed home and worked and paid off bills. And uh, during that period, he was basically alone at home because they were on, the rest of the band was on tour nonstop. So he wrote the entire record pretty much by himself. Pretty much by himself. Uh, then we got the Huntington's Retarded Split CD on Winona Records. I believe that's a record company on Italy. Yeah, yeah, Italy. Then we got um, the self-titled album, which uh, this has 
some amazing songs on it. Um, I've Been Waiting, uh, I Just Want to Feel Alive, Pittsburgh, Kiss the World Goodbye, um, Untitled 2, The Sound of Inevitability. Uh, great, great, great record. It's on uh, Fast Music. Um, by this point, they were no longer on Tooth and Nail. Um, so this one was released on Fast Music. Um, then here we got the uh, basically the Huntington's Anthology. Um, Growing Up is No Fun, The Standards, 95 through 2005. This was supposed to be their last album, uh, just a kind of a best of album. Um, 30 songs. Yeah, 30 tracks. A uh, pretty good mix. There's a couple of songs I would have liked to have uh, added on here. It actually has... Um, is it not by you on here? Yeah, Not By You is on here. It actually has Not By You on here. So, uh, Not Bombs in Baghdad, though. Um, but, uh, here we got uh, Huntington's Pull the Plug, which, um, by the time they played their quote-unquote last show at Cornerstone 2005, this was the last album. They pretty much threw this all together like a week before that show. Um, it's uh, basically, what is it, 12, 11 tracks? Uh, acoustic songs, variations, renditions of their music. And then here we got the Huntington's Punk Sounds, which is on Noah Records. Um, this one has Bombs on Baghdad, Not By You. Uh, it's basically the split with Darlington, plus those extra tracks, plus a couple of new songs, Don't Pick On Me and Why Should I Dream. Uh, so, decent stuff there. And then... Um, the iTunes box at Huntington's 1234. Um, this is basically every track they released. Up to or including High School Rock. I can't remember. It's been a while since I looked at that because I listen to albums as yourself, not that. But the. Uh, if you were to burn it on CDRs, it'd be four discs. So, whatever. Um, then after that, we got the, uh, the cassettes. So, um, here's a prime time the Tascam tapes, which this is basically a cassette version of their very first um, demo release. Uh, whatever that one's called. I can't even remember now. Move! Oh, the Big Hits and Nasty Cuts. Okay. So this is basically a cassette version of Big Hits and Nasty Cuts. Then um, Sweet 16 on cassette. Uh, Line Fart Records. Flying Tart Records. <laughs> and then uh, High School Rock on cassette. Tooth and L Records. Okay, then after that we got the uh, the vinyl. Um, so here's the, uh, the You're Not Right 7-inch. Uh, Sud A is You're Not Right which uh, later would be included on uh, Plastic Surgery. And then uh, we got Babysitter, which is a side B, a cover of Ramones. Um, that came out at the same time as uh, High School Rock. We got uh, Sweet 16 on vinyl. It was a really, really, really great production. I mean, the artwork is just pristine. I was blown away by how you know, really clean the art was on that. I wasn't expecting it to be that clean. Uh, we got Fun and Games on uh, vinyl. And uh, these are released by Vinyl Remains, um, which is a record company that kind of re-releases older music. I think they did some Crucified stuff, maybe? Or was that retroactive? I think that was actually retroactive, now I think about it. Whatever. Uh, then we got um, High School Rock on vinyl. The cool thing about this was uh, whenever you bought this um, back in the 90s, it included a bonus track, I Just Want to Have Something to Do, which they did live um, at some of those shows. And then the, uh, the Darlington Huntington's um, split, which this is on Stardom Records from the Netherlands. Out of the Netherlands. Um, first, I guess my uh, hoodies. Um, this one I got, uh, Summer 2000, uh, says Huntington's on the front. 
um, back has a big H, Huntington again. Uh, this one was from the summer of 2002. Um, uh, has Huntington on the front, and on back has the um, Andy, Josh, Ricky, Mike uh, lineup. Got this on the tour, summer 2000, Hangtons with um, President Washington, 13 stars are ending. Okay. Okay, so this is with the um, Mikey, Cliffy, Danny, Johnny lineup. That'd be winter. January, February tour 2000. Uh, this is also a January, February tour 2000. Um, ROC can USA tour with uh, also Cliff, John, Danny, Mike. On the back says uh, American Rock and Roll. American Rock and Roll. This is one of my favorite shirts ever. Um, uh, let's see, uh, Mikey Cliffy, CJ Davey lineup. This is a fall of 99. Uh, and on the back it has the, uh, we don't care. And a big note, uh, that they were sent by angry person. I'll put that there and I'll take a picture of that so you can get a close up of it. This is also from that same tour, I think. Possibly. Maybe. I can't remember what tour that one was. If that was the fall or the winter. Uh, this is uh, from both tours. Um, Good, the Bad, Ugly, Live. Actually, no, this is from this is from the fall tour with Dave and CJ. Um, get Lost, Davey, CJ, Mikey, Cliffy. It's actually a shirt I made. I thought it'd be funny. So it has a cliff on the front pointing. On the back says, um, I love Jennifer Love Hewitt. If you haven't seen it, um, you can go watch their uh, music video for No Pool Party Tonight. Uh, he says that at the beginning. Actually, no. No, he said it wasn't him. It was somebody else. Yeah. That's what he claims. Okay, this is from the... Um, Winter Tour, 2000, January, February. Um, has the same logo on the front, but on the back, has tour dates. Yay! Okay. This is from uh, a couple years ago. Um, Punk Rock Legends from USA. That was one that played with Screeching Weasel in uh, New York City, I believe. I think so. This is from Fall, 2001. Rock and roll happens for the new wave. Can't remember which tour this is. This one is, I want to say, 2001 because they sold the sticker on that tour. This one is from uh, Fall 99. Uh, Huntington's a Joey Ramone on the front. Back says, What would Joey do? Let's see. This is from uh, 2001. Songs in the Key of You. This one's from last year. Uh, this is Huntington's 20 more years. And this one's from uh, January, February 2000. Just plain presidential seal. Pink name. And this is from uh, a couple weeks ago. 
when I saw them. It's actually uh, the design was a design by um, Jason 3D from the Jasons. <laughs> this is uh, from summer 2000. Got the uh, back in black on the back. There's the uh, official shirt for the We Don't Care Foundation. It says We Don't Care Foundation on the front. And on the back, it uh, again has the We Don't Care postcard. It's just a standard design. Um, Mikey Cliffy, CJ Davey in the front. On the back is also the postcard, but uh, this variation does not say We Don't Care on the back. pink shirt with the uh, baby please don't leave seven inch which never was released but that was a song song sent to give you okay um, blank presidential seal from the high school rock era and then tooth and owl records logo on the back usually those shirts were shirts you got directly from the um, label it had the logo on the back um, this one's with uh, silver record, same record, same design, it's just this one's silver. Okay. Huntington's on tour until the second coming. <laughs> well, these shirts are too small for me because they're size small. I used to wear size smalls, but now I'm too fat. Uh, the Huntington's Hooters logo. Uh, kind of a Harley motorcycle logo. American made since 1995. It's on a shirt they released uh, a few years back. 2009? 2008? 2009? I think. Yeah. Uh, Punk Sounds logo. Mm -hmm. All-Star Rock and Roll, kind of a baseball jersey logo. This is one of my favorites because it has a big picture of Andy on it. Huntington's on the side. Let's see. High School Rock. They used the same design for fun and games. It just said 1998, I think, or 97. Um, and then they recycled it for high school rut. They're uh, supposed to be their farewell design before they decided to start doing it again. Uh, the seal with all the names up to that point around it. This is one of my favorites. Can't wear it anymore. It's a an actual baseball tee, three-quarter length sleeve. Three R's: reading, writing, rock and roll. Huntington's. Let's see. There you go. Uh, another one. This one's in blue. The other one was in black. Um, pink design again. This one's small. Still too fat to wear it. This one's uh, songs in the key of you on front. On back it just has some pictures and says Huntington's remember all the fun we had.
And again, astronauts, this is in size small. Can't wear it, too fat. Reading, writing, rock and roll. This one's a kid's large. Uh, Tori usually wore this. Um, and then, and this was mine. Uh, the other one was Tori's, but this one was mine. Same design, same shirt. It's just mine's much bigger. Because all I had when I saw them was a large. So, yeah, there's the, uh, the full collection. Um, Unabridged, everything. So, uh, I guess thanks for watching and peace out.